Have you ever felt like you're playing a game you don't fully understand? You try your best. You're nice, considerate, and attentive. Yet somehow, you're the one left feeling lost, confused, or powerless. Let me tell you something that might make you uncomfortable. Relationships are not what you think they are. They're a battlefield of psychology and emotions, and whether you realize it or not, you're already a player in the game. But here's the twist. Most people are playing to lose because they don't know the rules. Today, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. I'm going to give you the raw, unfiltered truth about how relationships really work. And it's not what society or nice advice tells you. If you've ever wanted to flip the script and take control, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools to make anyone obsessed with you, make her chase you, and finally stop wondering what went wrong. This isn't for the faint-hearted, and it's definitely not for those who are fine staying in the dark. This is for men who are ready to step up and learn the psychological keys to stay ahead in any relationship. Buckle up, because once you hear this, there's no going back. Stay till the end, because the last point I'll share is a total game-changer. It's the one thing no one else will tell you, but it's the secret that makes all the difference. Let's dive in. 1. Triggering Emotional Responses – Why Logic Doesn't Work Forget everything you've been told about using logic to connect in relationships. When it comes to influencing a woman's mind, logic is not the key. Emotions are. Women respond deeply to feelings rather than reasoned arguments. So, if you think explaining your side rationally or presenting facts will win her over, think again. Instead, you need to focus on evoking emotions that pull her closer to you. Here's how it works. Women are wired to react to feelings, which means emotional triggers can significantly influence their behavior. Often, they subtly use emotions to control situations without you even realizing it. Think about it. Has she ever acted upset, guilt-tripped you, or seemed hurt over something trivial? That's her playing on your emotional responses. Now, it's time to flip the dynamic. The secret is creating unpredictability. Be the person who keeps her guessing. One moment, make her feel deeply special with your attention and compliments. The next, pull back slightly. Be busy or distant. This push-and-pull tactic creates emotional spikes, making interactions with you feel addictive. She'll associate those emotional highs and lows with you, keeping her engaged and invested. But remember, the goal isn't manipulation for harm, it's about maintaining balance. When you can influence her emotions, you ensure you're not the one left feeling powerless or lost in the relationship. Focus on creating emotional moments that keep the connection strong and exciting, and you'll never need to chase her attention again. 2. Using her fears to gain control. Let's address something that's often left unsaid. Fear can be a powerful motivator. Just as emotions drive people, fears shape behavior. Women, like anyone else, have their fears, such as the fear of rejection, abandonment, or not being enough. Understanding these fears isn't about exploitation. It's about learning what drives her actions and emotions so you can maintain the upper hand. Here's an example. In relationships, the fear of abandonment can create strong emotional ties. Think of how Christian Grey from Fifty Shades of Grey masterfully used this dynamic. By alternating between being present and pulling away, he played into Anastasia's fear of losing him, making her emotionally dependent on the connection. The lesson here isn't to terrorize or hurt someone, but to recognize the power of subtle emotional dynamics. To apply this, 
identify her insecurities or fears in a non-threatening way. Maybe she's afraid of being alone or replaced. When you subtly highlight your value in her life and make her feel that losing you would be devastating, she becomes more invested in staying connected. For instance, mentioning how your life would change without her presence, without being dramatic, can evoke this fear naturally. Remember, this technique requires finesse. If overdone, it can backfire and create resentment. The goal is to keep her emotionally tied you without making her feel trapped or manipulated. It's about ensuring that your value in her life remains irreplaceable and that she's motivated to prioritize you. 3. Mastering the push-pull technique to keep her hooked. If there's one strategy that consistently keeps a woman intrigued, it's the push-pull technique. This simple yet effective dynamic alternates between giving her attention and withholding it, creating emotional highs and lows that are irresistibly addictive. Here's why it works. People, especially women, are drawn to unpredictability. Too much attention and she gets bored. Too little and she feels neglected. But when you balance between making her feel special and pulling back just enough, she becomes emotionally invested. This tension keeps her focused on you, wondering what's next. Think of high-profile relationships like Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. Their on-again, off-again romance was a masterclass in push-pull dynamics. Public declarations of love, push, were followed by unexpected breakups or distance, pull. This emotional roller coaster kept them in the public eye and emotionally tethered to each other. To use this technique in your own life, start with the push. Compliment her, make her feel cherished, and invest time in her. Once she's feeling good, introduce the pull, become slightly less available, take longer to reply, or focus on your own activities. This shift creates a sense of uncertainty that compels her to seek your attention again. The key to push-pull is balance. Overdo the pull and she might lose interest. Overdo the push and she may take you for granted. Keep her guessing and she'll stay emotionally invested, seeking the next moment of connection with you. 4. Subtly undermining her confidence. Here's a harsh truth. Constantly boosting someone's confidence without limits can backfire. When you always praise her, she might feel invincible and start taking you for granted. To maintain control and keep her invested, you need to subtly undermine her confidence, just enough to make her seek validation from you. This isn't about being cruel or critical, it's about planting small seeds of doubt that keep her looking to you for reassurance. For instance, instead of overly praising her outfit, you could say, that's nice, but I think I like the other dress better. This tiny comment creates a subtle emotional wobble, making her wonder about your perspective and seeking to impress you. The psychology behind this is simple. When someone feels a small sense of insecurity, they're more likely to seek affirmation from the source of that feeling. By carefully balancing compliments with light critiques, you position yourself as the person whose opinion matters most. However, this technique requires a delicate touch. Overdoing it can lead to hurt feelings or resentment. The goal isn't to tear her down, but to maintain a dynamic where she values your validation and stays emotionally engaged with you. 5. Isolation Cutting off outside influence Isolation is one of the most misunderstood tactics in maintaining influence in a relationship. It's not about controlling her every move or cutting her off from loved ones. Instead, it's about creating a connection so strong that she naturally prioritizes you over outside influences. Start by being the person she trusts the most. Show her that you understand her better than anyone else. Gradually, 
she'll start seeking your opinion above others. From there, subtly encourage activities that strengthen your bond while reducing her time with people who might undermine your relationship. For example, suggest spending a weekend together instead of her attending a casual gathering with friends. But be careful, push too hard and she might feel trapped. It's crucial that the isolation feels like her choice rather than something forced. Keep her close, but don't smother her. When done right, this builds a strong, intimate connection that minimizes outside distractions. By now, you've unlocked powerful strategies to take control of your relationships and keep her emotionally invested. These aren't about manipulation for harm, but about creating a dynamic where you're never left powerless or guessing what went wrong. Remember, relationships are a game, and those who understand the rules always win. Use these tools wisely and watch how the dynamic shifts in your favor. If you found this valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what resonated with you or what you'd like me to dive deeper into next time. Until then, stay in control and keep winning the game of life and love.